there is this reality. The reality is that we can't always see how things are going to turn out. The older we get, maybe the better at that we get, right? But when, particularly when we're younger, we can't tell how things are going to turn out. But I'll just tell you, there are lots of times you can assume that certain things will be true. I'm going to talk today on a subject of taking advantage on the daily summation from Kurt's religion and politics. I'm your host, and I'm Kurt. That uh, today would be Friday, the 22nd of April of 2022. Uh, welcome to everyone who's here on Rumble, on the podcast, on YouTube, on BitChute, on CloudHub, on my Facebook page. That's the Kurtz Religion and Politics page there. On Kurtz Religion and Politics .com, on Minds, M -I -N -D -S .com, on the Kurtz Religion and Politics group there. On Parlor, on Gab, on Twitter, or wherever else you may be seeing me or hearing me today. Uh, the subject, as I have already said, is taking advantage, and I'm going to take a minute to go through my notes. There are a lot of folks out there who appear to think uh, they're taking advantage when they do certain things. A prime example in my mind is when people pull around me as I'm going the speed limit on a given road only to pull up uh, to a red traffic signal and have me end up right behind them. Does it seem like you're speeding through uh, well-timed traffic signals is taking advantage? Let me point a couple, a couple of things out. The first is that you've obvi you're obviously no better off. You've, you've not gotten into a better position. How can I say that? Because at best, you've gained one car length if I'm directly behind you at the light. Uh, I'll say one other thing about this because it came to me as I was thinking about it. Even if you end up behind other cars, you're no better off. And the thing about it is the chance, well, we'll get into that in a sec. But here's where your desire to get ahead or to take advantage gets worse. Not only have you made it so you had to stop at the light, but you likely made it so I did as well. Lots of the time, if you were not there, I'd go sailing through what, by the time I got there, was a green light. Sadly, most lead-footed people are not, quote, quick off the blocks, end of quote. They take a while to get themselves moving if they have to stop. That means they're going to be sitting at a green light when I come up on the back of them applying brakes I wouldn't have to use uh, were it not for their actions. And I'll take this a step further. Because they stopped at one light, they'll probably stop at the next one too because they'll probably have to get off the blocks and it'll take them longer to get going even if they get up to a higher speed. People in the recent pandemic, um, oh, excuse me, I should say this. Obviously, that's just one example of such behavior. Okay, uh, it makes sense to put it not to have it out of order. You'll see why. People in the recent pandemic buying up all the toilet paper is an excellent, excellent example as well. It literally made it so sane, rational, rational people were unable to buy something that pretty certainly wouldn't have been out of stock were it not for panic buyers. I get wanting to take advantage of various things, and there are times, lots of times, when it makes perfect sense to do just that. Much of the time, though, not only is that not true, but on top of hamstringing yourself by making it so you had to stop at that light or spend excessive money on toiletry products, but you're likely harming others as well. I'm sure there are folks out there who could easily come up with more examples. I know I could, after all. I'm just not sure how helpful that would be at this point, though. The point here is, don't do something you're sure will be to your advantage only to find out you actually did something that harmed or at least inconvenienced you and potentially others. Some such things are easy to see. Others, not so much. If you're questioning, though, refer to how most people used to view courteous behavior. I was in a restaurant just yesterday getting a to-go order and uh, when a man, who granted was at the register, basically made the young lady working there attend to him even though she was calling to me to deal with what she knew would be a quick transaction. Though I would have loved to come up and push him out of the way, and I don't know if I could have, quite frankly, and I really don't want to in, in one sense, in the more important sense anyway. 
I had her deal with that fellow before dealing with me. Sound counterintuitive? Maybe so, but things turned out just fine in the end. And I didn't spend a huge amount of time waiting for that to happen. Please, really, really consider whether something you're intending to do is to your best advantage. If it is, go for it. If it's not, maybe you should reconsider doing it. Okay, done with my notes. It used to be that people did things that they considered were courteous, appropriate things to do around other folks. It has become more and more a thing that the shoving, jostling perspective has won the day. And I'm just going to tell you something. I'm going to continue to do what I can to be courteous. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to continue to try and show people who are not that way why what they're doing is not beneficial as a rule. You may think you're taking advantage of a given situation or circumstance. Let me make it painfully plain to you. That is not what's happening most of the time. It's just not. What actually happens is you make things worse. And not just for yourself, like I say, for others as well. Right? When Again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this traffic signal thing again. It's been a thing that I've harped on a lot. If you've watched my videos, you've probably seen me talk about the idea of how people deal with traffic a lot. The person who hit me again in the side, had she been watching what she was doing, would not have run the red signal and I would not be looking for another car. And I would not be dealing with a son who's still working to get himself back into a state of health again, even akin to the one that he was in prior to um, being hit or being hit. But the thing that I'm saying is this, when you jam yourself around somebody quickly, I had a guy today, just today, and he flew by me after having to sit behind me. Oh, the indignance, right? indignity, right? Had to sit behind me in traffic because I was, how dare I, going the speed limit. And he was right up on my bumper where if I'd have had to hit the brakes, he would have hit me in the back. And then on top of that, when he finally could, he went around me. And as he went around me, he looked at me and he was using what almost certainly was deriding laughter. And the funny thing is, probably no more than two or three lights up from where he passed me, like I was tied to a tree stump, as a family member would have put it in past, probably no more than three lights from that position, he was stopped at a, in a turn lane. And I flew right on by him, not going any faster than the speed limit, but the point is, he was stopped. It was hard to not be flying by him, right? So the point that I'm making here is this guy decided that it was advantageous to speed. I decided that it made more sense to go the speed limit. I didn't even stop at the light the guy uh, ended up turning at because the turn lane was stopped. But the straight ahead traffic just was going. It was just going. And it was because I went the speed limit. Now, I grant you, they don't time lights correctly all the time. But most of the time, unless you really know what's going on, you're not going to know what you have to do to make it through those lights. Okay? Even if they're timed slow or fast or whatever, you're not going to know. So it's not going to help you. But again, all of this, all of this comes down to this one idea. And the one idea is taking advantage makes sense when it really gives you or someone else an advantage. There's lots of times that's just not true. And if you take advantage of some situation or think you are, you're going to find that it wasn't advantageous for you to do whatever it was that you did thinking that you were doing a wonderful or great thing. I just want you to understand this. I'm Look, I know I probably come off to a lot of folks preachy, and I want to address that. I promise you, I do stupid things. <laughs> I'm talking to me as much as I'm talking to you. I'm trying to nail down in my mind as much as I'm trying to help you get into yours that these things that I'm talking about, they're true, they're real, they're right, they're correct. This is what I need for you to understand. I am not, not at all, trying to say, oh, I'm perfect and you guys are doing it all wrong. No, I do it wrong too. That's part of the point. Part of what I'm trying to do is get people to think about what's good and right as opposed to what they shouldn't probably do if they really think about it at all.
This is what I need for you to understand. Okay, this is what I need for you to understand. And so it's not like I'm sitting here going, ha, 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 I'm so much better than you. No, I do this too. I, I try to take advantage of things and I mess it up in the process of doing it. And that's just how that works. Okay, I need to go ahead and wrap things up. This has been the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host, I'm Kurt, and today is Friday, the 22nd of April, 2022. That would be the beginning of the Sabbath at sundown today. So for those of you who um, observe the Sabbath, I hope you have a good one. Uh, tomorrow will be Saturday, the 23rd. I've got the 22nd in my notes. That's not possible. <laughs> See, I, like I say, I make mistakes, I promise. But tomorrow will be Saturday, the 23rd of April, of 2022. Uh, the ending of the Sabbath at sundown on that day. Um, thank you for everyone who's been here on Rumble, on the podcast, on YouTube, on BitChute, on CloudUp, on my Facebook page. That's the Kurtz Religion and Politics page on Facebook. On Locals.com, that would be Kurtz Religion and Politics.Locals.com. On Minds, M-I-N-D-S.com, should be the Kurtz Religion and Politics group primarily there. On Parlor, Gab, Twitter, or wherever else you happen to be seeing or hearing me today. Subject for today has been Taking Advantage, and tomorrow we're going to talk about an interesting subject, and it's different from what I'm talking about today. And it is, but is it worth it? So I want to go ahead and get into that tomorrow, and I'll discuss it. It has to do with doing things that people tell you are, quote, free. I'm here to tell you that that's not nearly always the case. But the question that I have is, that aside, is it worth it? Okay, I need to go ahead and wrap things up, as I say. Hope you're having a good day today. Hope everything is going well for you. And hopefully we will see you again on Saturday's edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schuh. This podcast was created on Friday, the 22nd of April of 2022. The Daily Summation is created for Kurt's religion and politics. Thanks for watching today's edition of The Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. Don't forget to come back tomorrow uh, to check out the next one. Remember, on various platforms, primarily Rumble, YouTube, BitChute, and CloudHub, and the audio podcast, you can subscribe to my content. For the audio podcast, you probably want to use Apple, Google, or Spotify. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or Spotify. In order to find me on those platforms, you can go to the Kurtz Religion and Politics channels on Rumble, YouTube, BitChute, and CloudHub. You can also get to my content on Facebook by finding the Kurtz Religion and Politics page there. Minds, M-I-N-D-S dot com, uh, you, where you will find me at the Kurtz Religion and Politics group. And Kurtz Religion and Politics dot locals dot com as well. You can look there. I post my daily video on various social media sites. Really only about three, Parlor, Gab, and Twitter at present. I am at KP Schubert on each of them. And you can find me under them and you can find the videos under me. Uh, you should be able to find my podcasts on Google and Apple Podcasts and Spotify. It's also on podcasts.kpshubert.com. That's podcasts with an S dot K-P-S-H-U-B-E-R-T dot com. Uh, if, if you're looking for me on various of the podcast sites, you probably want to search Kurt's Religion and Politics, not the Daily Summation. Keep in mind, you can subscribe to my content various on various places that I put it. Uh, all constructive feedback is welcome. You can like, dislike, add a rumble, or give whatever feedback is available on any of the platforms that you can do such things. You can add, also add a comment on what I put there. Unless you're advertising or doing something that I believe will harm others, I'll leave your comments out there even if I don't agree with or understand them. I will try to let you know I've seen them when possible and may reply if I feel it's reasonable, appropriate, and possible, of course. Thanks again for viewing this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Politics. Don't forget to come back again for tomorrow's as well.